hello guys welcome to a new video and in this video i'm going to show you how to configure the management interface for the vrsx which is a firewall um, for the juniper networks the junos os so what you need to do let's go ahead and first um, launch the vrsx and i'm using uh, a vmware esxi um, server where I have my VRSX firewall. Uh, so from over here, let's go ahead and make this bigger. See if you guys can see it. Uh, nope. Let's go ahead and just go ahead and go into the console, and we are going to make it in a new tab, so you guys can see it better. It's going to be a lot bigger. There we go. So the first thing that I want to do is, um, since we are going to set up the management interface, I want you guys to. Sh I want to show you guys that the management interface does not have any IP address. So to do that, you want to do a show um, interfaces um, terse. And the management interface for these um, VRSX is um, the PXP0 down here. As you can see, it doesn't have any IP addresses. So what we are going to be doing is we are going to configure an IP address so we can access the JWeb GUI. So first, we are going to go into the configure mode. And from over here, what you want to do is you want to set, um, you want to set the interface. And the interface that you want to set is the FX um, interfaces. F, let me see, set interfaces FX zero. Let me see, FX P zero. We do a question mark. Um, it's going to give you a lot of um, options, but you want to do a u unit. Um, and this unit it is for configuring a logical interface. And the logical interface that you want to configure is logical interface zero. Then after that, you want to do the family. And which family do you want to do? You want to do the init family. Init stands for IPv4. And if you want to do a IPv6, you want to do um, init six for ipv6 but we are doing ipv4 so we are just going to leave it as init after that you want to do address and then you want to type in the ip address that you want to configure um that's zero that one 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 um one 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 slash 24. then after you do that um if you go into that ip address you won't be able to get there one and two that one's eight that's zero that one 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 as you can see it is not going to take it there right now because before um, we apply the changes before the, the changes are applied. You actually need to commit. So let's go ahead and do a commit. There we go. There we go. Commit complete. So now we should be able to get into that IP address. One and two, that one say that's zero, that one, one. There we go. And that takes you to the JWeb um, GUI interface for the V um, for the VSRX. Uh, if you log in with your username and password. Don't save, and that takes you into um, to the GUI interface for the VSRX of the Juniper Networks Junos OS. And there we go. So that's how you are able to get to that JWeb or that, that GUI interface for the uh, for the uh, Juniper firewall. Okay, so the way to get there is that you need to configure that FXP0, which is the management interface. And if you configure the management interface, you are going to be able to get into the JWeb. And we can go ahead and do some show commands. So if we do edit interfaces, and from these edit interfaces, you can do a show. And that's going to show you all the interfaces that have been configured. As you can see, the only interfaces that we have configured is the management interface, which is the FXP0. You can see that we put the unit um, zero, which is the logical interface. Then we did the family, and the family uh, that we configured was the for the IPv4, and then we configured the IPv4 IP address, as you can see right here. Also, if you do edit, and if you do a uh, not edits, you want to do exits, then exit again, and from over here. Um, now, what you want to do is a show interfaces. And you want to do uh, if you do a question mark, it's going to give you a bunch of interfaces that you can add uh, that you can see. Uh, I want to see the FXP0 interface, and you can just do a terse at the end, and that's going to show you 
uh, the physical interface, which is the FXP0. And then you can see the logical interface, which is the FXP0.0, because we did, remember, we did a unit um, 0, and that's what is FXP0.0. You can see it's up for the admin. The link is up. The protocol is in it, which is IPv4. You can see the um, IP address, which is 192.168.0.111/24. So it is working. You can also do a show interfaces thirds, and that will give you all the interfaces. And over here, you can see that the FXP0.0 is up and up, and the IPv4 in it. It is 192.168.0.11/24. So this is it for this video, guys. Thank you, guys, for watching, and I will see you on the next one, guys. Bye, bye.